Solve this equation. 2 to the power of x equals x squared. You're going to say x equals 2 or 4. Hmm. There are indeed two solutions. However, they are not all the solutions. In fact, this equation provides us with infinite solutions. So, what shall we do firstly? You see, exponential form. So, what we can do is take a natural log on the both sides. So the natural log of 2 to the power of x equals the natural log of x squared. Then, what can we do? Of course, we can use this formula. The natural log of a to the power of b equals b times the natural log of a. So it is x times the natural log of 2 equals, now pay attention, the natural log of x squared is 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of x. Why? Because you see, if x is negative, the natural log of x doesn't make any sense. So therefore, we need an absolute value. Just remember, the natural log of x squared is not 2 times the natural log of x, but 2 times the natural log of the absolute value of x. Very good. Then what shall we do? Of course, we have two cases. In our first case, have a look. Consider x is positive. If x is positive, then the absolute value of x is just x itself. So now we have x times the natural log of 2 equals 2 times the natural log of x. Now, we should bring all the terms about x to the one side and all the constants to the other. So, we have the natural log of x over x equals the natural log of 2 over 2. It's very good. I have a trick. A very powerful function. And it is called the Lambert W function. Uh, the Lambert W function is the inverse function of this function, y equals t times e to the power of t. Since this function is not an elementary function, which means we cannot solve for its inverse function by using elementary or basic algebra methods. However, its inverse function does exist. The mathematicians figured out a very good way. They just express its inverse function as t equals the inverse function is actually the w function. So t is equal to Lambert w function of t times e to the power of t. So we just end up with this one. And now, just use it for solving this equation. Now, we only care about the left-hand side, because the right-hand side is just a real number. So what we aim to do is to associate the left-hand side with t, to the t times e to the power of t, this form. Now, the natural log of x over x, the left-hand side, can just be written as 1 over x times the natural log of x. 1 over x times the natural log of x. Now, I'm going to write this 1 over x as e to the power of the natural log of 1 over x is x to the power of negative 1. So we end up with this form. According to the formula, the natural log of a to the power of b equals b times the natural log of a. So this one is e to the power of negative the natural log of x, then times the natural log of x. However, here we have a minus, here we don't have any. 
So what shall I do? No problem. Because the left-hand side is just this one. Which means e to the power of the natural log of x. Uh, e to the power of the negative natural log of x. Times the natural log of x. Equals natural log of 2 over 2. Because we desire a minus sign here. So we just add it. Add a minus sign in front of this natural log of x. Which implies we've multiplied it on both sides by negative 1. So now we can actually use the function. Because we have the form e to the power of t times t. So, so if we just take the Lambert W function on the both sides. On the left hand side, we just get lemma w function of negative natural log of x times e to the power of negative natural log of x. On the right hand side, the natural log of uh, the lemma w function of a constant is also a constant. The left hand side is just negative the natural log of x according to the formula. And the right hand side is still a constant. And now we can solve for x, and I'm going to write it here. In our first case, x is e to the power of negative number of w function of negative natural log of 2 over 2. Of course, we also have our second case. And in our second case, you should consider x is smaller than 0, is less than 0. And in this case, the steps are totally similar. So you can try it yourself. Solve for x in the case x is less than 0, and of course, I can tell you the answer. If x is smaller than 0, you get x is negative e to the power of negative number w function of positive natural log of 2 over 2. Do you get it? So at the end of the solution, you will get two answers. However, they will provide you with infinite many solutions you get infinite many complex solutions. So do you get it? Do you get the method? Do you get the trick? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!